I'm your host, Sunflower Girl. Today's book is Dandelions and Daydreams by Margaret Hillard, illustrated by Judy Hand. The Dandelion The dandelion that we know is found in many places. Across the whole wide world, it lifts a million golden faces. It grows in countries everywhere, and here at home in ours. I think that it must surely be God's favorite of all flowers. The dandelion is so beautiful. Buttons. My coat is buttoned down the front with buttons round and white. The grass is fastened to the earth with dandelions bright. And God has buttoned up the sky with little stars at night. Zippers, which seem very clever, couldn't be as pretty ever. Stars. When God has turned the day to night, he sets the little stars alight, and far above I see them glow. I see some others here below, to light the dark that evening brings, small fireflies like stars with wings. There's the pretty fireflies. Do you guys like to catch fireflies and release them in the summertime? My backyard. My backyard is pretty small. Just a patch of green is all. One small tree that I can climb, and flowers when it's summertime. Sandbox in a spot of shade, with puppy dog and pail and spade. God has made a happy place, and just a little bit of space. I loved playing in the sandbox with my twin sister as a child. That would be so much fun to do again. Do you like to play in the sandbox? What do you like to do in your backyard? Ears. Thank you, Lord, for ears to hear. Robin's chirping songs of cheer. Kittens purr and puppies bark, mother's voice at early dark, singing lullabies to me, soft winds through the maple tree, church bells ringing loud and clear. Thank you, Lord, for ears to hear. Ears come in so many shapes and sizes and colors. What kind of ears do you have? Noses. Thank you, Lord, for noses, too, that sniff small flowers wet with the dew. Smell the smells of Christmas pine, washing, drying on the line. Mother's fragrance in the night, when she comes to tuck me in tight. Chocolate cookies, homemade stew. Thank you, Lord, for noses, too. Just like ears, nose comes in so many shapes and sizes and colors. What kind of a nose do you have? What is your favorite smell? Share in the comments below. About feet. The centipede is not complete unless he has 100 feet. Spiders must have eight for speed, and six is all insects need. Other creatures by the score cannot do with less than four, but two are quite enough, you know, to take me where I want to go. I'm glad that God has planned it so. Oh, look at the little ladybug, the centipede.
daydreams. I sometimes dream of things to see, of things to do, and things to be. God knows my thoughts, my daydreams too, and with his help, I'll make them true. What are some of your thoughts that you have throughout the day? And daydreams. Do you like to sit outside in nature? I love to sit outside in nature and talk to Jesus. I love to play with my dogs outside too. And go on walks with my hubby. What are some things you guys like to do outside? The rainbow. I watched the rainbow through the rain. Its colors showing very plain. And I was happy for I knew that somewhere God was watching too. Rainbow catcher. Rainbow color comes and goes in the sprinkle of the hose, gold and green and pink and blue, where the sunlight filters through. In the spray that gently blown is a rainbow all my own. If I'm careful where I stand, I can catch it on my hand and rejoice to have a share of God's promise glowing there. a promise to us that he would not flood the entire world again as he did in the days of Noah. What's your favorite color? Let me know in the comments. I love the colors white, black, and green. march up in rows. I stand and let the little ones curl up between my toes. I use a shell for digging sand to make a castle high. Sometimes I look for starfish or watch the boats go by. And when my mother fixes lunch and spreads it on the rug, she calls me to her side to get a sandwich and a hug. Before we eat, we say a prayer God's good blessings everywhere. Do you guys go to the beach? Do you live near a beach? Have you ever seen the ocean? What kinds of things do you like to do at the beach? Prayer time. I fold my my eyes and say a little prayer. This is the way I talk to God and show him that I care. Prayer. When you work and when you play, take a little time to pray. At home, at school, or anywhere, there's always time to say a prayer. Even riding in a car, God hears no matter where you are. Prayer will keep him close to you, so talk to God in all you do. You can have an all day long conversation with Jesus. Include him in your thoughts. Instead of thinking to yourself, think to Jesus. Share everything with him. When you're sad, when you're happy, when you're mad, ask him for help. Ask him to show you things about your life and about your heart and your family's hearts. Little things. I'm glad that God had Noah make an ark so big that he could take a pair of every beast and bird and fish according to his word. For now our world is filled with things like butterflies with rainbow wings and yellow ducklings, small white mice, a furry bunny extra nice, a speckled toad. 
toad upon a stone, a kitten for my very own. Small creatures meant for us to share, since God has put them everywhere. What are some of your favorite creatures that God has created? I love frogs, dogs. I love all of God's creations. I love dragonflies and butterflies. birthday of Jesus. You can't give a cake with the candles aglow. You can't give balloons that are such fun to blow. You can't give a present. You can't give a card. You can't give a party and play in the yard. So give him your love for as long as you live. For love is the very best gift you Sing a song, sing a song of Christmas, stars and sleigh bells too. Sing a song of candy canes and carols ever new. Sing a song of angels and choirs up above. Sing a song of Christmas, sing a song of love. I love to sing to Jesus when I'm happy. I love, love, love to sing to him. While we sleep, the stars are shining in the sky, and so my teddy bear and I have both been kissed and put to bed, and now our prayers have all been said, and soon our eyes will close up tight while you keep watch throughout the night. If you're having problems sleeping, I hope that this book to see you next.